There are a lot of project management applications out there, but there aren't a lot that handle managing external collaborators well. So that means while it might be easy to work with your internal team, what if you want to open this up and make it available to external people like your clients? Typically, you'd be paying expensive licensing fees. And Softer makes that so much easier for us. We can connect Softer with Airtable or with Google Sheets, and we're able to create a full-on project tracking experience. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a Softer implementation partner. If you haven't used Softer, you can get started for free today by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Today, we're going to be taking a look at their project tracking template, which you can see here. So once you're inside a software, we'll click on new application and you can search for project or project management. You'll see this template for project management. We can preview it here. And here's where we're going to go ahead and select to use the template. We'll get to choose a data source. I'm going to choose one that I already have, an existing one with Airtable and continue. And now this is going to copy all of the information we need into our Airtable account. I'll click on copy the base. And so this automatically creates our base for us with four tables that we need. We've got our team. These are going to be the different collaborators that we have inside of our software application. And you can see we have different roles. We've got employees and we have managers as well. Then we've got projects. This is going to be our high level information about the projects that we're working on. We have our tasks, which are related to the projects, and we assign these out to the different team members. And then we also have comments that people can leave as a comment log on the tasks that they're working on. Back inside of Softer, now that it's created our base for us, we can go ahead and create our application. Now we're inside of Softer Studio. This is the area where we can build and configure our application for our users. One of the things that I like to do is take a look through the template and see how it appears to our end users. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the preview screen, which is gonna open this up so we can see it as if we're one of the users. You'll notice up at the top that this has a non-logged in user that we can use, or we can actually pull from the actual users to be able to preview it as them as well. So in this case, if I'm not logged in, I'm being forced to authenticate because this project information is typically sensitive. We don't want to expose it to everyone in the world. Now we could create a landing page instead. If you want to have, here's our company project portal have some nice information about what they can expect when they log in and then give them this authentication experience. So let's go ahead and preview this as Billy, who's one of our employees. And you'll notice that we have this nice left-hand navigation. The first thing that he sees when he logs in is a projects list where we can display some high-level information about our project. Notice that you can also click into a project and this will show us the detail layer of the project with the project team members and information that we need to know about the tasks for that project. We can also have a form down below so that we can create new tasks that we need along the way for the project as well. Next on our navigation, we have the calendar and the calendar is showing us our tasks that we have over time so we can get an idea of what's coming up. And this is nice because with this calendar block, we can take a look at this in different ways. We can segment this by a month or a week or a day and be able to filter this so we could say, I only want to see if these tasks are owned by certain individuals. And we can see the underlying information here as well. We can see a gallery here of all the people on our team so we can get their information. And when it comes to our tasks, we can look at this in a couple different ways. We have a list view that shows my tasks as a list. And we also have a Kanban view where we can now see our tasks as a Kanban in a drag and drop experience. But what's interesting is right now we're looking at these tasks as my tasks because I am Billy, an employee, and so I'm only able to see the tasks that I'm actively working on. But we could go to another user like Victoria, for example, who's a manager. And Victoria is able to see all tasks. We're on the same page. We're looking at the tasks in the Kanban view, but instead of looking at her tasks, she doesn't have tasks, she's a manager, she's able to see all of the different tasks that we currently have in the system. Now let's take a look at how this is set up inside of Softer. So I can click on users here, and this takes us to our users and our user groups. So we see this list of users, and this is bi-directionally syncing with our data inside of Airtable. So as we have changes, we add new users in Airtable, we see them reflected in Softer, or we can add a user in Softer and see it reflected in Airtable. That really opens the door for us because if you're using a tool like Make or Zapier or using the API, you can use that to create new users. Maybe when a client signs up for something, then you use the API to push a new user record and now they can appear automatically inside of the application. As we mentioned before, we have employees and we have managers inside of Airtable, but we could have 
lots of different roles. We could have external collaborators. We could have clients. We could have contractors that we work with. All of this is managed with our user groups here. And so we already have two of these set up. We could add a new user group, give it a name like client, and we could either choose to add users manually, but most of the time we'll want to add users based on certain conditions. And this pulls from these fields that we have inside of Airtable to determine whether that user should be part of a given group. So now check out how cool this is when we're on our tasks page for the Kanban here. And if you take a look, you'll notice that there's this little icon that says visible to employee for my tasks. And then if we scroll down, we have a different area that says all tasks, and this is visible to the manager. And let me show you how to set this up. So we can click on any of our blocks here and the first thing that we would do is check the visibility settings for that block. So we can say only logged in users can see this, and then we can restrict it to which user groups. In this case, we're looking at the employee user group. Now that's how we manage the security aspect of this, but we also wanna go a step further and say, I only want them to see their individual tasks. Well, if we head into the source here and we scroll down, we can see that we have information for conditional filters. And this says that, if the task assignee email, and this is coming from inside of Airtable, if that email matches with the logged in user's email, then we're going to display those tasks. And that's how we can handle that filtering so that we only show the relevant tasks to that user. Now, if we scroll down, we've got our all tasks area. And if we look at our visibility here, this is where only the manager can see this information. This might be a little bit confusing because you see these two blocks on the page, but because we're governing who can see what, through those user groups, we're saying only the manager can see this one and the employees can see that one. That means that they're not going to see both of those Kanbans. They're only looking at the one that pertains to them. Now for the manager, if we click over on the source here, notice that they're not going to have that conditional filtering because we want to show them all the tasks in the system. But the great part is, is you can add any kind of conditional filtering you want. Maybe you only want to see tasks that aren't marked complete. You could do that type of conditional filtering as well. It doesn't always have to be tied to the logged in user. Now, as great as this template is, software is meant to be configurable, meaning that you can add any tables that you want and be able to show the data on your own custom pages. And we have another linked video for building your own custom layout experiences. So if inside of Airtable, we added a new table for say something like milestones, we could then go ahead and create our own pages here. We'd add a new page and we could create both lists for those milestones. We could create a details page for those milestones. And then all of those components that we add on the page are called blocks. We can add new blocks and we've got lots of different options. We have both dynamic and static. Static blocks are going to be things that are perfect for landing pages. You wanna put a big hero image on a page. Those are gonna be useful for when you have external pages. And then we also have those dynamic elements. And these are all the ones that are tied to Airtable or Google Sheets, where we can pull all of that information and display it to our users. So we've got vertical cards, horizontal cards, we've got tables, lots of different blocks or components that we can add to our pages to create those experiences for our users. One of the neat things, if you actually click and drill into an individual task, is that we've got this team discussion board and we've got a WYSIWYG editor where we can add these comments and have the comments show up for those individual tasks. Well, look how cool this is. In Softer Studio, when we're on that page, this team discussion board that we have here, we're mapping this back to that task comments table. So if we go back into Airtable, this is mapping it here. So we can get all of this information in Airtable if we want to display summaries of our open comments but we can have that nice WYSIWYG experience. So you get kind of the best of both worlds, storing it back to our Airtable information, but Softer creates a nice interface to be able to track comments inside of the Softer application. Get started with Softer today by building your own project tracker using the template and the link in the description below.